Um, Elvis, here we are. I remember uh, last year we talked to you, and, and uh, it was obviously not the kind of season you wanted to have. Um, I know you took some strides this year. Uh, where are you at with, with your game uh, as you look to the future and your future in the NHL and, and here? Uh, definitely it's not the... Uh, that's as well what I said to Pazzi. It's not... Waking up this morning was an amazing feeling uh, because... Uh, first of all, it was raining. <laughs> Everything is dark. Season is over, and and that's the part that that's not nice. Uh, we all wanted to keep playing hockey, and uh, and be in playoffs, right? Um, comparing now, you you ask me about my <clears throat> sorry uh, about my last season and and this season. It's a different season. Uh, we still didn't, I would say, accomplish the the goal what we wanted um, now if you ask me personally uh, between last season and this season I think it was better uh, team wise as well it was better than uh, the season before uh, we just have to keep working hard um, I think as a team as a group we we showed several times that we have character, that we can fight for it, we can win the games, tough ones, easy ones, uh, doesn't matter who is coming against us. Uh, so that's, that's, that's a good thing for us to see and to know that the, there is that capability. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, now there is, for me personally, there is different, uh, different obstacle. I'm going to go for uh, World Championships. And uh, I'm excited. Can't wait to, to see my teammates, my boys uh, over there in Europe. And uh, yeah, I'm focused on more championships. I mean, uh, I guess, how, how much are you looking? I mean, you, you just mentioned how much you're looking forward to it. But uh, you know, a year ago, you, you obviously did not play in the world. And that became like a big deal or whatever. But uh, at what point did you decide that you wanted to play, you know, for Latvia, and and uh, what can you get out of it from a playing standpoint? That's that's exactly the difference between um, the last season and this season. Uh, last season, I went through a lot, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, a lot. I went really through a lot, and. Uh, being there in national team with, uh, I'm not saying mental breakdown, but like not being on 100%, uh, just finish a really tough season. Uh, I don't think that would be a good thing for my teammates over there. Uh, it's not that I'm the super god here, Superman, who is going to help them, right? Uh, they, they, they did amazing. I'm proud of them. I watch it every single game. Uh, I called the guys right away on FaceTime. Uh, I was emotional. I cried for them. Uh, those guys, I, 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 I started since when I was little. Uh, there is half of teams since when I played under 15 in national team with them, you know. So uh, those are the, 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 I'm not saying the real boys, but they are the real boys. Uh, and I know that we have character uh, and, and, and we can achieve a lot of things and that's what they did and that's what they showed. Now this year the season for me was, for me personally, if I have to think now where to put myself going to Worlds or not, uh, I think it was uh, alright. Uh, obviously there's a lot of things to work on it. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited and can't wait uh, to go to Latvia Saturday. Elvis, just the whole off season is going to be surrounding finding a new general manager. Just did, does that make you nervous at all about what could potentially happen after a new general manager is in place here? Well, right now I'm I'm honest. Um, I'm not thinking about that because, uh, like I said, I want to go more championships on my hundred ten percent. Uh, I still have hockey left there to play. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have playoffs, but. I still have hockey to play over there, and then that's my off season when I'm gonna start thinking about things. It's obvious that uh, we're gonna get a new GM here. Uh, there's gonna be big changes, and that's a totally normal. We need big changes, and uh, 
we can't keep going like this. I'm honest. Like we 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 all want to win. We all want the playoffs and and for our fan base, uh, for our fan base, for this city and organization. I think uh, one day bringing the cup over here that would be huge. And 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 this is our all team players goal and dream to do that. Uh, what's gonna happen? Well, that's not under my control or his or yours. Like, it's the new guy who's gonna come in and he's gonna do his moves. I assume so. What uh, What is the best for this organization? It's an injury situation. How are you feeling right now? And then, do you feel that there's some things that maybe you can do in the future to, you know, be more available? Well, I I can agree with you about my illness, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm honest, I'm taking so many vitamins that I could have overdose with them. Like, seriously, every morning, there are too many pills on everything, fish oil, and I have a huge list. But having a toddler at home, it's a different thing, right? Who is sneezing, who is spitting you in the face, in the mouth, and it's completely different, right? Uh, but that's that 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 part what yes i i uh, i'm not happy that i was so many times sick injury wise i'm happy with my work what i did during the summer uh, i had no injuries except the last one now with a uh, little hip injury and mid season i had uh, my back uh, problem but that back problem it has nothing to do with uh, my strength or how I am is just happens. There's guys who happens just pulls your back and you can't even put the socks on. Like my wife was putting the socks on me in the morning and I was at that time 28. That was two years ago and I was wow that's that's a pretty tough one. And uh but that that yeah and hip uh, yeah I got hurt but now I feel fine and I'm that's that was our medical team uh work to do and uh, they did it well and uh, I'm I'm good now. You had a new goalie coach this season. How difficult or how much of a transition was that to getting adapted to him and, and getting to know him and he know to know you as well? Um, yeah, I think uh, that during the training camp, it was more like meeting each other. And uh, I would say October month as well, that was like meeting each other as well because that's when just the game started going. Um, Overall, it was uh, it was it was different. It was different compared to many uh, different techniques and different thinking. Um, but uh, it was it was good work. I mean, I I, I feel that I I still improved my game. Uh, I, I'm not gonna say which one is better, which one is worse, but uh, it, it's different different type of coaching. Uh, as well as a team wise, we see Lars or Pazzi is completely different coaching or towards, right? So uh, it, it's just a different hockey kind of thing. Elvis, you've been here a number of years now already. Um, how would you describe the culture of the locker room right now? Well, yeah, I'm here five years. Uh, this is my home. <laughs> This is my home and this will be my home. Um, locker room, it's, it's, uh, this is a, as well another one what I was talking to my wife. It's uh, looking back in my year one and two, it was a different locker room than now. And uh, it's nothing that you can compare which one is better or worse, right? Uh, it's different people. Like if I look back in my year one, um, Z, Boone is here, like, you know, there's not so many guys, there's new faces in this locker room since my year one. Uh, it's completely different room. Uh, I feel maybe this this time we're younger group, in, if I have to compare to my year one, uh, like kind of less experienced maybe guys, so of course, like KJ and, and fans and all those guys, uh, but uh, younger younger group, they're, they're Speed wise, they're faster, obviously, right? And uh, and battling hard, so uh, it's it's just a different group. It's like I can't really compare them. You, um, you mean, you've always been the kind of guy who's very straightforward and, and kind of tells it like it is. That's just who you are. 
Um, I feel like you kind of run hot a little bit sometimes. Uh, are you the kind of person, do you feel, that is misunderstood sometimes as a person? Oh, you know, I got this, um, I got this a lot. Not a lot, but quite a bit. Sometimes happens that I come home and I'm like, gosh, what did I say? Why? They, they didn't get it. Like a huge drama back home in Latvia as well that I'm not paid from national team. It's like, it, it's, I never wanted any money from a national team. It's, it's just for me, it's appropriate that the Blue Jackets are paying me the contract. So I have to give them back the value of what they're paying for me. Uh, so there is, I had to put first my job and then national team. National team is not my job. Um, I remember talking to Lars once. Uh, he almost jumped over the table and killed me <laughs> because I said the wrong word that I really didn't know what exactly actually meant in English language. Uh, so it happens sometimes to me. But uh, I'm learning from that. But uh, being straight, and, and I think... I think that's a good thing, and honestly, another person who I really liked who was that way, that was Torts, and, and that was perfect. Uh, you like the truth or you don't, but that's the truth. I'm sorry, take it how you want it. But sometimes, uh, yes, I, I maybe express myself wrong, or I send the message in wrong way, uh, that, that then when it, there is explanation, it's completely different story of what I'm saying and and then the person gets it uh, I remember my first year with Manny I had huge trouble he he couldn't understand me well, why am I even talking about it doesn't make any sense of what I'm saying and uh, then he learned me and then thank God that the, Manny was the guy who was helping me out and he was explaining me how you know, he was meaning something different not that way uh, but yeah it happens to me so just your take on the, the overall defense. You know, it's a team thing, but consecutive seasons allowing over 300 goals. Where do you feel that the team needs to improve in order to start really getting that number down? I think improve of everything. Um, we are not in playoffs. The teams who are in playoffs, they are, they are great, right? And um, this is honest fact. Uh, starting from myself, I need to improve. In the defense, we have to improve. In forward, we have to improve. In power play, in PK, and everywhere. That's how the teams get in playoffs. That's the fact. And we are not in playoffs. So that means we have to improve in everything. Uh, I know that we are a hardworking team. And uh, the guys during the summer break, uh, now we're going to work hard. And we'll see in training camp. Hey, Daniil. Um, how are you feeling overall as the season ends health-wise? Uh, it was kind of, anyway, frustration because we didn't make the playoffs anyway. Uh, but, like, overall, I would say about my play, uh, it was kind of tough start, again, with the, the injury and battle through it. But by end of the, I would say, like, the second half of the year, was kind of, kind of trying to find my game and was pretty close when I wanted to be. Uh, it was kind of the unlucky play, especially in the Islanders game. Yeah, when I got hit. So yeah, kind of. Anyway, frustration ended the another year with the injury. What kind of goals do you have for this particular off season in terms to be ready? Um, just want to kind of simple working hard, you know, just getting getting ready and be healthy for next season. It's it's gonna be the huge huge summer anyway. Uh, just want to work on some like the goal is tough and like just keep it the same confidence that I got by end of the season uh, and go on from there. Are you fully healed from that last injury? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting there and feel much better now. It's all, almost clear. So, like, no, no problem at all. That's good. It's just, I mean, I mean, you, you've had a number of bad luck yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of injuries. Do you, do you feel, I mean, you're still young. Do you, do you feel like, let's just 
get them out of the way and hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just hopefully it should be the last last injury. Just cross the fingers, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the future and just want to like to play the games like I did the, the second half of the season. Just enjoyed that, like played like, against good teams, you know, and just being an NHL goalie. I was gonna. You went kind of where I was gonna ask is uh, that stretch you're talking about that that span of time. Mm-hmm. How important was that for you mentally as we go forward to to know mm-hmm. that if you do stay healthy and everything that you can you can be a, a top goalie in this league. Yeah, it was kind of good stretch, especially like you said for like the mentally and you trusted more yourself. You know, it was like really important one and make especially for me you now like I can play good at this league and this level you know to help the the team get the points and get the chance for win so and just like in this off season just trying to keep this kind of mindset and go with this in the next next season I believe when you played in Finland uh Backstrom was your was working with you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, he was like the development goalie coach, so he was kind of like the finished dad there. <laughs> yeah. Did, the, so. did that? Uh, how much did it did it, did it help to to oh. have him here? Did you enjoy working? Oh with yeah, him this absolutely. Year? I know Bex long time, so yeah, it was kind of really helpful. You know how I, I can play, and you know like the all the stuff, especially with the, like the goalie skate. So we're really connected with him. So he was really helpful, especially in this season. We did the everyday something and it helped like during the all this pay. Especially by the end it, it shows some result. How beneficial was it for you to have the likes of Ivan Provorov and Kirill Marchenko and Chinikov and Voronkov on the team and then just the, maybe the special friendship that you guys have? Uh, I mean, it's a huge <laughs> Russian group here, so yeah, I'd say like it's 25% or it's pretty a lot. It's a lot of Russian language in the room, you know, sometimes <laughs> you want to be away from it. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's too much, but yeah, it, it was good, you know, we were like hanging out together, especially on the roads, usually going to the dinners, I yeah, got the, another... 25% Russian tax with us, so yeah, he's getting there. He's Russian better than Warriors English. Yeah, and this is a lot, I mean, for a group. They're pretty skilled guys, young guys. It's a lot of energy from these guys, you know, especially like from the pro, he, he's playing a lot in NHL and he got some tips and notes for us, you know, and we can get this for a for future. How would you describe your relationship with Elvis Merzlikens? Um, very good. Like he's a good teammate. We're supporting each other. It, yeah. Anyway, the the net just only one. One. Yeah, and we both want to play there. And it just the who is better at the moment. And this goal is playing. You just need you know working hard and show to the coaches you're ready to play and. Be this this goalie who who help your team get the win. So and but otherwise we're really supported each other anyway. Who is playing when you're on the bench like waking up, you're just getting help to your starter. And just going off of that, uh, do you feel like you can be the number one goalie next season? Um, yeah, I mean, if I do like the same kind of like consistently. You know the same job. Don't thinking too much about the really results. You know, just trying to enjoy the game and get the the shots come to you, finding your your spot. You know, be like the same same confidence. You need the one thing. I think you should get it proof if you want to be like the like the star of the goalie number one and especially a good. Number one, you should rubber some games, you know, for a team not, it's not enough, you need to get the chance for a win. Sometimes, you know, especially with the back-to-back games, when you get the chance, 
the guys is not that fresh, you know, they can uh, lose a lot of energy. And you should be this guy who will lead your team, you know.